Electronics during the winter, they don't like it. They don't like being cold. Batteries go dead. Don't want to snuggle up in your sleeping bag with all your electronics? Well, stick around. I'm going to show you how to avoid that. We're gonna go inside because it's, I didn't bring any of my stuff and I'm gonna do some filming inside from the Hiking with Gus studio. It's not really a studio, it's like a storage room. Anyways, we'll catch you inside. Well, let's get this started, shall we? The cold. Batteries hate the cold. Rechargeable things hate the cold. Cold temperatures will suck the, I can't say that. Cold temperatures will drain the juice. I can't say that either. Cold temperatures will reduce the amount of electrical charge you have in your batteries in short order. How do you, how do you, how do you stop that from happening? Well, like most of us, we'll cuddle up to our electronics in a bag inside our sleeping bag if we're doing an overnight, or we stick it inside our jackets or our pants pockets when we're doing just a day hike and the temperatures are low enough, say like in the 40s or so, to really affect the charge in a battery. Well, I don't know about you, but that's not something I consider cozy. So I came up with this idea. Remember here a while back when I was gonna give away my darn tough sock that I only had one of? Well, I decided to keep it. Sorry, I know all of you are really excited about getting that sock, but I'm sorry, that's just too bad. And in two years, I still have not found the mate to this sock. Anyways, what you wanna do you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need your cozy that you use for, say, like um, your dehydrated meals, your top ramen, you cold soakers, I'm sorry, your SOL, but you're going to have to get one of these, a sock, or some sort of a cloth bag. And I use hand warmers. They got a 10 hour lifespan to them. So what you do, and this is good for, you know, pretty much everything. What I do is I take the sock, open up the hand warmer. I'm not gonna do that right now because I don't wanna waste a hand warmer. Activate it, you know, you gotta shake it through the air till it gets warm and then make sure it warms up. And then take that hand warmer and stuff it in your little cloth bag or your sock or whatever you wanna do. I do this just to kind of keep it away from the electronics, right? Take that and then you take your cozy, all that shiny stuff that keeps your meals warm for a buttload for a very long time. Yeah, one of these. Take that and put it inside your cozy. Now you can put it in afterwards or whatever. And then well, I recommend if you're gonna throw batteries in there, make sure they're individually wrapped or you put them in a piece of a bag that separates them or something so that the contacts aren't touching and you burst into flames in the middle of the night. Put those babies in there. Your battery pack, you can stick that in there. Cell phone, you can stick that baby in there. Your Garmin in reach, in she goes. Heck, you can even put your Avalanche transponder in that also. It's a little crowded, but if you carry all that crap, seal it up and that baby's gonna keep them warm for the better part of the night anyway, so not gonna lose the charge. So there you have it. That's my tip. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's go back outside. Well, as you can see, we're back out in the woods. Hey, if you like this video, you found some interesting stuff or something that you think you didn't know before, or even if you did know, but you, now you remember that you forgot it, smash that like button or gently caress it. Subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell because we're gonna be doing more of these. Life kind of got in the way, but with Gus's surgeries and my injuries, but we're back at it. We've got some winter trips planned, day and overnights. Wanna do some snowshoeing. Maybe head over to Idaho and see that guy, Danny Schaefer. He's kind of taking a sabbatical too, but anyways, hey, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.